In this video, we will be looking at TBC 5.7 Linear Feature Extraction Enhancements. We will focus on single and double solid line extractions, as well as the dash line extraction functionality. Let's now have a look at the Lane Line Feature Extraction Workflow TBC. As you can see, we have a data set with a solid, single, solid double and dash lines. First of all, go to Point Clouds, and under Deliverables, click on the Extract Lane feature. Once that opens, choose the Lane Line Marking option, Line Settings, Solid Single for the name, as well as the layer. We'll make it a green color. Then the extraction. There we have the solid single. And now we have to click on the line itself. If you click somewhere off the line and it cannot detect it, you will get a red arrow. Redo it and make sure you click close to the line. If you are correctly clicked, you will get a green cross with the arrow to show which direction the extraction will begin. Under Advanced Settings, the Intensity Threshold can be used to make sure that the intensity is correctly set for the extraction. If it is too low, everything will be looked like this. When you set it too high, nothing will be detected. Somewhere in the middle, where you can see the lines nicely popping up, would be the correct setting. Maximum Interval, we will leave at 2 meters, and we would like to create line nodes points for this extraction. Starting off, we will use 1 as the starting number. Once you're happy with that, click on Extract. Follow the extraction. It will stop at the end. And when you're happy with that, click on the Switch Direction. This will now allow you to extract the line in the opposite direction. Click on Extract again. We have a gap in our data, and the extraction has stopped and cannot jump over to the next section of the road. You can manually assist it by simply clicking in the manual selection option, and then where you want it to go to. Once you're happy with that, add the segment, and now you can continue with your extraction going forward. If you're happy with the extraction and it is complete, Create Line and Points is the next button to click. As you can now see, we have the points and line created for our solid line. Next up, we'll jump over to the double solid. Create a new layer for it, and this time we'll go with magenta color. Now in our lane line type, we will go with solid double, and again click somewhere close to the line you want to extract. Again, a green cross with an arrow in which direction the extraction would start. Click on extract and follow it. Zoom in and see, yeah, the extraction ended nicely this time. Click on switch direction and hit the extract button again. As you can see, unfortunately, extraction went a little bit too far. Not a problem. Just click undo and make sure it gets to the right spot. For now, I just want to make sure it ends right there. I can add the segment, and that looks good. Happy with that. Create line and points is the next button to click again. There we go. Solid double was created. Last one is the dashed line. Let's go dashed name and create a layer for it. This time we'll go with a red color. 
and then in the land line type choose dashed. Now you will see you have a first and a second dash option. What we will do, we'll zoom in, click on our first dash and then on our second one. Again, green crosses, arrow in which direction it will extract the line. Happy with that? Click extract. The extraction is now complete and there is a solid line so we won't go further. We'll go switch direction and exactly the same extraction will happen in the other direction. Again, we are happy with where it has stopped. Everything looks good. And then click create line. As you can see, we now have each dash created with its own CAD entity and line with points. That concludes this video on how to extract lane line features in TBC.